Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome to a brand new video. Hope you guys are all doing great. Sit back, relax, and enjoy today, guys, because we got a commentary, and I'm going to be going into a theory of how Chris Redfield might die in Resident Evil 9. Now, this theory really stems from a video I made a couple days ago where I talked pretty much about DLC opportunities that Capcom could lead the next DLC into, and pretty much the idea was that Capcom can pick up where the events of Resident Evil Village left off, where they're going to the BSAA European headquarters. And if you guys don't know, Resident Evil 8 has the BSAA, but not in a huge uh, regard that a lot of people were hoping. They do get a couple mentions, and you pretty much see them on screen. And then at the very end is pretty much where we get the big reveal that they have a pretty big hand in the village and or in the story because they s are sending bioweapons to fight bioweapons and chris isn't having any of that mind you chris is one of the co-founders of the bsaa he pretty much left during the events of resident evil 6 because he, uh neves or neans i can't really remember his name but it was the pr second protagonist of resident evil 6 he dies and also his team dies so Chris pretty much feels so much guilt that he has to leave the BSA because of that. And also I'm pretty sure he just kind of got fed up with the BSA at that point. He goes on to join Blue Umbrella and that's during the events of Resident Evil 7. So Chris has always been against bioweapons, right? And to see bioweapons in the organization that he helped co-found to stop the spread of bioweapons is pretty shocking to him. Now, this is where my theory comes into play, pretty much. I think Jill Valentine, right? The last appearance I think she made was in Resident Evil Revelations 2 or 1. I can't really remember at the top of my head. But she made an appearance a long time ago. And she hasn't been in a mainline game except Resident Evil 3 Remake. But I'm not talking about Resident Evil 3 Remake because that's set in 1990, what, 98 or 99, something somewhere around there but pretty much what i'm getting at is that she hasn't been in a mainline game in a while right and i feel like she has something to do with the bsa i feel like she has a higher role in the bsa now than she did in previous games right and if you look at the events of every game and even if in the movies because the movies are considered canon and i'm not talking about the one with that one girl where she's super super big she, i'm not i'm not you know what you're not talking about not that girl right uh, i'm talking about the actual og resident evil animated movies right those are considered canon how do we know they mention literally the only game that capcom likes to get credit for and that is resident evil 4 but pretty much back to what i was saying Jill has seen and transpired all the events that have happened in the world of Resident Evil. What if she's gotten tired of everything that's happened and took matters into her own hands, right? And fought fire with fire. And she uses that motivation to stop bioweapons from transpiring in Resident Evil by using bioweapons. I mean, it's not a great motivation and I'm not laying out the foundation for it as well as i should what i'm trying to say is that jill is kind of just tired of everything so she uses bioweapons to take over and maybe this is a corrupted version of the bsa but pretty much this is where my where my theory comes into stem um pretty much chris gets into an altercation with jill and jill and chris have a falling out but then years later jill has a copy of chris's dna and makes clones of him right because chris is a straight badass at this point right chris is a straight badass right um what if she uses his dna to make clones of the bioweapons because at the end of the game you can tell that chris has pretty much some resemblance to the bioweapon that's shown at the end of the game in the cutscene and you can pretty much tell this is either used a reused asset or a version of chris that we have not seen and it looks like a bsaa clone and i'm telling you guys this is just too good to be true but i mean that that's just a theory um and i feel like chris is going to have to go up of up against a version of himself 
that's 10 times stronger than him and well i would love to see that play out and maybe chris is gonna fight himself in some way i don't know guys that's pretty much all i really have for this video i didn't really think too much into it but let me know what you guys think about it i pretty much gave you guys all my thoughts and opinions on it but yeah guys i mean that's pretty much gonna have to wrap up today's video hope you guys definitely did enjoy it and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys